Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about how to start a business with low or no capital at all. But before then, why not like and subscribe to my channel, click on the bell, the bell right there. <laughs> so you can get notification from me anytime I upload a new video. So as a student in China, or any part in the world let me just say not just student but any individual that is looking to start a business without um, capital at all so one thing you should have in mind is to start a business without a capital you need to be able to invest your time and energy into creating something that people actually do want so now for instance if you are going into a business like um, um, cosmetics for instance makeup you don't have to, you do not have to um, rebrand from the beginning. You do not have to rebrand. You don't have to put your logo. You don't have to break a bank to be able to start such business. So except you want to put your logo on it, I don't think you need any capital at all to start such business because there are so many brands that you can actually take and hone and then promote and then sell. Let's say for instance, we're talking, we're talking about the makeup, right? So for the makeup, we have different so many different brands and then we have so many pictures online you can take any pictures of your choice and post it take different different pictures of different brands post those pictures and then when you have a buyer you go and then order and sell to the person like order and then ship to the person right but then why is it so easy to start a business in china without capital china for instance china is a country where you, uh, um, the delivery system is very easy. There's factories, there's sellers, there's retailers, there's every garden thing you need. There's every product. There's nothing you're looking for on this planet that you will not find in China. So why, why, you, why do you need to break a bank to start a business when you, you can get everything on your fingertips? So now, you have your uh, your sellers you, the sellers already have their pictures they already made good content all you just need to do is to get their pictures post and then when people order you buy directly from there they ship to the address of your clients isn't that easy so for the makeup you can go to miniso miniso have a very cheap product like cheap and high quality products, especially the lipstick, the eyelashes, the, the uh, mascara, the eyeliner, the perfumes, those things you can get on a very, 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 very low price. If they scan it, they will not even get that product on Taobao, trust me. Any product you get on, on a store or in a store, you cannot get it on Taobao. So this cosmetics or this makeup product in Miniso ranges from 10 RMB to 30 RMB. So you do not have to buy a whole lot of it, just one. You can just buy one, one of each, take a nice picture, promote it, and then sell. So whenever you have order, you go to Miniso, you buy from there and then ship to your customer. That's very easy. No money involved. Or let me say very little, maybe 10 quarter, 20 RMB, you need to start that business, which is cool, right? So now, let's say for instance, you want to start a skincare business. You do not necessarily need to put your name on it to start a skincare. You can sell any good or popular brand. Let's say you can, you can buy any product. You can go to, also Miniso has nice product. You can go to Watson. You do not have to buy it. You can just take a picture on in the store, on the stand, and then promote it. And then when you have order, you go back to the store and buy and then ship to your customers. So one thing about me is that when I'm doing business, in any business that I'm going to invest my money into, it has to be something like necessities, like something people have to use every day. You understand? So now I'm into skincare business. Every day people shower. But you have to you have to take a bath before you leave the house. So you have to use my product. If you don't use my product, you have to use one shower gel or one soap, right? So I like doing something like this. So you actually have to invest your time, your energy into something that people actually really do want. Not something that they can easily get or something they don't even need at all. So you need to be able to think outside the box. So for a successful business person, a business-minded person should, be, should always be able to think outside the box. Think about something that people actually really do need, but they cannot get it in 
where in your environment, let's say in your dormitory, in your school or wherever you live, people actually need that stuff, but they cannot really get it. So you are bringing that thing to them. So another option is for any business of your choice, you can just decide to be a distributor to any brand that you have as a, um, to work with, right? Let's say for instance, my own cosmetic line, uh, my skincare line, you can decide to be my distributor, you can post my pictures, promote my product, and then when you have sales, you sell, you, you, you buy from me and then ship to your customers. You see, it's very easy. Or we can have an agreement or a collaboration, like when you sell, you get some percentage, maybe you get 20%, you get 30% of the things you sell. You see, you don't have to really, really invest your money in so much business, okay? Or to do any business at all. Now for clothing business, if you want to do a cloth, if I, I will not advise anyone to invest money in buying clothes and, you know, clothes go out of line, like out of fashion. So, <laughs> so if you go and then use the money to buy a lot of clothes and then people are not, they don't want that style because when you're buying clothes, you're buying something that you think it's nice on you, it's best, that is your own style, that is your own fashion, but that is not what people actually do want. So cloth is not something you can actually really invest your money in buying. So what you can do is you can get pictures of different clothes, different stores on the line, right? Get different pictures, post it, different styles, different design, men clothes, ladies clothes, whatever kind of um, clothes you post it, but make sure that you have your own um, niche or let me I don't know how to say it, but then you have your own um, kind of set so if you're going into clothing okay you're going for elegant clothes so it's to be only elegant clothes so you're posting pictures related to elegant clothes and then people buy from me they know okay she sells just elegant clothes so you need to be specific in things that you are doing in any business that you're doing at all so for instance um, skincare you go everything about skincare you do not move from skincare and then start adding uh, maybe uh, <laughs> start adding clothing to skincare that means it's not going like you can do cosmetics everything in cosmetics makeup skincare perfumes everything in cosmetics yes that's a line you can go into clothing elegant clothes okay male female elegant clothes, even kids elegant clothes it's okay but not going from clothes and then you can even have sneakers those are all part of um wears right so you can have sneakers you can have sunglasses you do not have remember you're not using your money to buy any of these things you're just getting pictures online posting but make sure you have sellers or wholesaler or you actually have a company where you can purchase those things when you have order okay so you're not paying you're using money to buy anything you're just taking pictures you're just posting pictures and then when you have someone interested then you go out that is when you buy with that buy, um, um, buyer's money not with your money okay so and then there's a saying people do say that you don't have to do many things at the same time my sister my, do everything do everything you do not know which one that we actually move in the market you do not know like for me for instance i do every brand but no i won't do something outside cosmetics i do everything i do anything i feel like okay this thing people actually do need this thing i do it if i sell it good if i don't sell it then i know that okay this particular thing people do not need it. so i won't restock that particular brand but then when i say do everything i don't necessarily mean that pack everything together outside your own line no for if you are into, maybe you're selling uh, wigs, hair, for instance, you're doing wigs, you're selling hair, you can also sell the glue, the lace glue, the latch, um, the spray, the coiling cream, the comb, everything related to hair. You see, that is everything, not just doing just one thing in that business. You can do so many things without even spending a dime or just little capital. I hope I'm making sense. So there are so many businesses that you can venture in without capital. For instance, you can go into um, this um, wine wine business. You can bring different brands. There are so many pictures of wine online. There's so many good content of wine, nice wine. And then you can take all these pictures, post it, and then people will definitely buy it from you. So like I've mentioned, I've mentioned about four businesses that you can start without capital at all. I said cosmetics, so everything in cosmetics, 
from the makeup, from the perfume, um, from the makeup to the perfumes, to the um, skincare, everything that you know that's under the umbrella cosmetics. So you stand on cosmetics and then do it. Remember, you're not putting your money. I'm emphasizing on this. Do not put your money in the beginning. Get other products, except you want to rebrand. But as a student, as someone that just want to start from scratch, I beg you, do not try to rebrand. What if you rebrand and then nobody buys it? What will you do? But if you're selling the top brand, what people actually like MAC, like found, um, uh, foundation, now in China, even you can't even get the original MAC foundation. So if you are able to provide the original for your client, for dark skin, because in China, there are so many cosmetics that's only for their skin tone, not for foreigners. So if you're able to get the original product for your, for foreigners, for people with black skin tone, for all skin tone, see, you're going to make a lot of money. So there's so many businesses that you do not even need to rebrand, to put your name on it, and then you make more money. You can even make more money even than the owner of the brand, if you know what you're doing. Finally, finally. I've listed a whole different, different, different business, right? But finally, make sure that whatsoever business that you want to venture your time, or you want to put your time, your energy, your money into, make sure it is something that people actually do need. Not something you think that uh, it's okay in the, in the market, but something that people actually do need, especially if you're living in a dump. Try to bring in things that they, don't they do not have to go outside to go and look for, you see? I said about clothing line, right? Clothing line, people want to go out, they don't even have the clothes to wear to, 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 um, to class or something the next day. And then they know, that, oh, oh, my clothes are dead. I can actually, actually go to this girl, her, she's selling some clothes. Let me go and buy it from her. So finally, remember that you are, you are investing in something. You're investing your time, energy, and even money in something that people actually do need. Okay, not something you think will work, will sell in the market, but something that people are actually looking for. Those are the, those should, those are your targets. Those should, those are the things that you need to focus on. Not doing what your friend is doing because this one is doing it. I also want to do it. No, do what you think that other people, what you think that is actually needed in the market and what you love to do. So not everyone is destined to be a business person. But if you have something that interests you, something that you think you like to do, like you have passion and you think, because if you do not have passion, if you do not really love what you're doing, you get stuck, you get tired, you get even discouraged. People will, people will, they will, people will push you, they will really push you to the edge. So you need to first think outside the box, think of something that really you think you can actually, that you find interest in doing, and then make sure that thing is something that people actually want in the market. Okay, so that's enough for today. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Please, please, guys, help me grow, okay? <laughs> so, and don't forget to click on the bell so you can receive notification whenever I upload a, a new video. I'll be uploading series of video this time, okay? So, just click on the bell because I'll be uploading. I'm serious. I'll be uploading a lot of videos right now. I will. So, thank you guys for taking the time to watch my video. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.